The Mohammed bin Zayed International Robotics Challenge is an international competition aimed to promote technology and to inspire the future of robotics. This is the second progress demonstration video from the Autonomous Systems Lab and the Robotic Systems Lab of ETH Zurich. The competition is composed of four challenges. The first challenge requires a UAV to locate, track and land on a moving platform. In the second challenge, a UGV has to locate and reach a panel, then operate a valve stem. The third challenge requires multiple UAVs to collaboratively locate, pick and place a set of static and moving objects. Finally, the grand challenge combines the previous tasks. Our approach to the first challenge is to detect the landing platform using cameras and track it using a state-of-the-art particle filter that incorporates prior information and estimates of the probabilities of multiple hypotheses about the platform's location and movement. A model-based controller is used to accurately follow planned trajectories, leading to a smooth approach and landing. We use the Aztec Hummingbird UAV. Since the last progress report, we fully integrated and tested all necessary hard and software needed for reliable state estimation and visual tracking outdoors. Robust outdoor state estimation has been achieved through the combination of visual odometry and differential GPS. A test in a large open outdoor space with sparse features, similar to the challenge arena, has been conducted to prove the viability of our solution. As the visualization shows, visual odometry is able to mitigate loss of GPS, while GPS corrects drift induced by visual odometry. Robust outdoor state estimation is a key requirement for dynamic and safe flight during the challenge. A scaled-down indoor test run with an external state estimator has been conducted to validate our algorithmic approach. Here we integrated detection, tracking, trajectory planning, and control on the actual UAV used for the challenge. All processing is done onboard in real time and platform location is detected without external aids. This test confirmed our ability to autonomously maneuver in a fast and dynamic fashion based on actual sensor data. This screen shows the actual real time output of our algorithms during the test run shown before. During this test run, the landing platform is assumed to lie on a circle. The window on the top left corner visualizes the current platform location probabilities. The onboard camera footage is visible in the top right corner, while the high-level seat machine is visualized in the lower right corner. The main window shows the actual UAV odometry and planned trajectory. As we prepared and integrated all necessary subsystems, our next step is to test our processing pipeline in a full-scale challenge environment outdoors. We have also prepared a mock-up landing platform for use in future tests. To complete the second challenge, a dense 3D map is used for localization and navigation purposes. The panel is detected using a RANSAC algorithm, which segments the 3D point cloud. A planner ensures safe navigation to the identified goal position. Finally, wrench and valve manipulation are performed in a visual servoing framework. The hardware employed in Challenge 2 consists of a ClearPath Husky ground vehicle, which we equip with our own manipulator arm. A custom-made gripper with camera is used for wrench manipulation. Our ground vehicle can autonomously find the panel. An accurate point cloud map is created from laser scan data and used to safely navigate to the goal position while avoiding obstacles. Our algorithms were already successfully applied in multiple robotics challenges such as Eurathlon 2013 and LROP 2016. A special maneuver allows our robot to position itself parallel to the panel for the subsequent manipulation task. Once the panel position is known, this procedure can even be used without laser data, as shown in this video.
Our visual surveying algorithm can robustly identify and track the valve stem. The wrenches can be detected, measured based on their length and slot width, and tracked across a sequence of images. Our gripper can firmly hold a wrench and apply it to the valve stem. We are in the progress of integrating all the developed algorithms on our customized robot arm and perform numerous tests using this setup. To accomplish the third challenge, a state-of-the-art exploration algorithm has been developed to find targets. A downward-facing camera is employed to detect objects while a Kalman filter is used to track them. Once the target is tracked, a smooth trajectory is planned to chase the object. Finally, the object is picked up using a custom-made magnetic gripper. For heavy objects, multiple UAVs are employed using a master-slave paradigm. The hardware employed in Challenge 3 consists of an Ascending Technologies Neo Hexacopter, equipped with a stereo camera and IMU, a downward-facing RGB camera, and the second iteration of our custom-designed magnetic gripper. We demonstrated autonomous navigation, visual surveying, and gripping in several demonstrations. In this public demonstration, our NEO autonomously collected cans with a red top at roughly known positions and dropped the cans into a drop-off box repeatedly. The UAV navigates to predefined waypoints. Once it is above an object, it uses the RGB image for detection. Server positioning is employed to robustly pick up the object. The public demonstrations are a good opportunity to showcase the successful integration of different work packages, such as object detection, server positioning, path planning, localization, and state transitions, together as a functional system. We also tested our pickup pipeline on a moving object. The downward-facing RGB camera image is color-thresholded to distinguish the objects from the ground. Visual surveying ensures that the object is picked up even if it makes unpredicted motions. Heavier objects require two UAVs for carrying. We developed an admittance controller for collaborative object transportation. A slave UAV senses the pulling forces on the object induced by a master UAV and supports it carrying the object. As we prepared and integrated all necessary subsystems, our next step is to test our processing pipeline in a full-scale challenge environment outdoors.